what's up guys i hope you're all doing great um thank you very much for choosing to watch this video and you know i'm just going to get real quick on this there's something going on which i feel is important for us to talk about and you know this happened yesterday which is saturday in pennsylvania when you know donald trump was delivering a speech to his supporters and an unexpected thing happened This nearly took the life of Donald Trump, okay? And, you know, this is really sad, but I just want to draw your attention. I just want to draw your mind to something that even though this is shocking and sad, we don't really have to be surprised, most especially we Christians, because there have been a lot of prophecies and vision in the past that, you know, talked about this. You know, in many visions, they stated that Trump was going to be assassinated and, I believe that this really didn't happen because Christians decided to pray for the protection of him because looking at how this occurred, it was just a miracle. If you've taken your time to read the news, you're going to realize that how, you know, the gun was shot and then how Trump was able to escape the gunshot. This is just a clear evidence to prove that this is a miracle that just came from God. Okay. Now I have a news article here which has given a breakdown of what actually occurred and then it says that the former president escaped with a bullet wound to his ear in the attack which happened early on Saturday evening as the former president was giving a speech to his supporters in Butler in Pennsylvania. Uh, and you know what they are doing is that they are trying not to put fear into the supporters. They are trying not to, you know, let um, the supporters or the public not know what exactly is going on. But I believe it is important for those in charge of his situation to let the public know, to let the supporters know his condition so that people can actually take this into prayers because they are perceiving it as if Trump is okay, but he's not really okay because he had a wound at his ear and, you know, this is actually affecting him based on the pictures and images that were shown i can see from here that he was actually bleeding from his ear and you know this is really terrible that whoever if you're actually a supporter or follower of this man you need to start praying for him because his life is really in danger and we do not know what exactly that is going to happen next when he stands in the public to speak or deliver a speech okay so like i said there are so many people that have made predictions there are so many prophecies that have come out just recently i received a mail from a certain man who you know made a video four months ago you know actually talking about this same incident so we shouldn't be actually be surprised that god has already revealed this to his children so that it doesn't take me by surprise when certain things like this happen but you know the most important thing we need to do right now i'm like i'm just going to encourage everyone if you are actually a supporter of trump or you, even though you are not a supporter of trump you just need to make sure that you take the fear out of you just take away this heartbreaking news away from you and then Get on your knees to pray for uh, Donald Trump, okay? Because in times like this, the enemy tries to get upon you and then make sure that you do not achieve whatever you want to achieve during this period. So if you're a follower of Donald Trump, just remain, um, you know, just remain strong and be bold in this situation and just make sure that uh, you take everything to God, okay? Now I'm going to continue what was uh, stated here and then it says that the Republican challenger who is due to receive his party's formal nomination in Wisconsin this week has since said it was God alone who prevented the unthinkable from happening, okay? This man, despite everything, still believes that it was God that saved him and that is actually a positive credit on his side. Mr. Trump was seen ducking to the ground as a series of shots rang out and people screamed in panic during the attack okay so this actually wasn't like just one shot this was you know a couple of shots that was you know thrown at him and you know he was mobbed by secret service seeking to shield him and as he was bundled off stage to a waiting armored vehicle with a bloodied ear. Mr. Trump pumped his fist in the air in a show of defense and shouted fight that was what he said when this whole thing happened as the cheering audience chanted USA as well as one person in the crowd being killed. Two people were critically injured after the gunman fired multiple shots from an elevated position from outside the rally venue 
And this was said by the Secret Service. Now, Donald Trump just, you know, posted on his Truth social platform and, you know, disclosed that this was his words. I'm going to quote his words to you. This is what Donald Trump said after the incident. He said, thank you to everyone for your thoughts and prayers yesterday as it was God alone who prevented the unthinkable from happening. We will fear not, but instead remain resilient in our faith and remain defiant in the face of wickedness. Our love goes out to the other victims and families. We pray for the recovery of those who were wounded and hold in our hearts the memory of the citizens who was horribly killed. In this moment, it is more important than ever that we stand united and show our true character as Americans remaining strong and determined and not allowing evil to win. I truly love our country and love you all and look forward to speaking to our great nation this week from Wisconsin. Okay, so this is what Trump said and, you know, it's quite encouraging and, I mean, this is how we're going to take it. This is how we're supposed to take it. So, if you are a supporter or a follower of Trump, these are the words that Trump, uh, you know, said on his platform and you need to take it and make sure that you pray for him in these, you know, tough situations like this, okay? Okay, so just feel free to leave your opinion in the comment section and also make sure you share this video with your friends and family, okay? God bless you.